Hello, thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Uh, it's a little different uh, than we normally do, but this is going to be our awards presentation for the 2019-2020 season. So uh, thank you for bearing with us. Uh, thank you for playing in all of our events that we've hosted over the last five months. Uh, I think it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it was kind of an abrupt end to the season, but um, we still uh, want to recognize all of our people that uh, achieved great moments on the golf course. Um, before we get started, I'd also like to thank our tournament coordinator, Colin Preston. He uh, obviously can't be here presently. He's up north, he moved, um, but we just want to recognize his great contribution to um, our golf department. Uh, he was a great friend to have, and we look forward to maybe seeing him here someday soon. So thank you, Colin. Um, as I said, it's a little different. We usually do this in person. Uh, we hand you the awards, but uh, today we're going to just run through our uh, recognitions, and uh, and you can always pick these up at a later date. So, um, concerning our Big Ten shootout, uh, because it was canceled this year, um, there were a lot of people that might have been in the running uh, that had to leave prematurely before our club championship. Um, so instead of paying out the $50 to each of the top 10, uh, we've decided to roll it over until next year. So next year's Big Ten shootout, the purse will be $2,000 for the winning team. Um, your golf shop credits will be rolled over for next season, so you don't have to uh, spend those. You can if you want in the golf store right now, but they'll be good through next April. Um, and that's all I have for right now. So in the meantime, uh, we're gonna get to our recognition and awards. All right, first of all, I would like to thank all of the nine hole ladies for making this a great season. Even though our season was cut short, we had a great year with many fantastic events and a record number of members. A special thank you to the LNGA board, Irma Cummings, Kathy Manitti, and Fran Slansky, as well as all of our event committees. We would not have been able to have such a wonderful season without all of your hard work and great ideas, so thank you. Throughout the year, we focused on many aspects of the game in our clinics and playing formats. It has been a pleasure watching the improvements of all of our members. It takes a lot of work and focus to improve in this game. And there is one particular member who we watch push themselves each and every week. This member improved their scoring average almost 20 strokes from last season to this year, which is an incredible accomplishment. So without further ado, this year's Most Improved Niner Award goes to Loretta Mosman. Congratulations, Mrs. Mosman. All right, ladies, well, I'm here to announce the awards and accomplishments of this year's QWGA members. Um, first of all, I would like to recognize our board of directors and all of the contributions they made this year. Uh, Mrs. Gober, Mrs. Lori Bitzel, Mrs. Deb Dolan, Ms. Barb Amen and Mrs. Marsha Hermson did a fantastic job this year. And also a great big thank you to all of our event committees for all the hard work they, they did this year as well. Uh, before we get into our awards, I would just like to mention that our Ladies Spring Interclub team did an awesome job this year. They competed in five 18 hole matches with one point up for grabs on each hole in each match. They ended up winning the red division for the first time. Uh, they won by a slim margin of 7.5 points. And what that means is in a better ball of partners format, they won 7.5 more holes than the second place team. So unfortunately the playoffs were canceled, but we would just like to congratulation, wish congratulations to our ladies inner club team. So this year, our QWGA had a record 120 players play over the course of the season in 17 different events. Uh, first of all, we would like to start with our ladies' most improved category. And this award is based on the new World Handicapping System that went into effect January 1st, 2020. In order to determine the winners of this category, we split the membership in half based on your handicap index. And so we are awarding one player from the lower group and one player from group two. Uh, each player will receive $50 in credit 
and we are excited to announce that in our group one, our most improved player went from a 34.7 to a 29.5 index. And we would like to congratulate Elaine Thomas on being the most improved player of the PWC. And then in our second group, this player went from a 16.6 .6 down to a 13.3. Awesome work, and we would like to congratulate Peggy Gifford on winning the most improved player. So the next event we would like to recognize will be the ladies match play. We had 33 players complete in three different flights. This format was individual matches played over the course of three months. Each flight winner will receive $45 in credit and a crystal bowl. Uh, in our gold flight, Mrs. Patty Hermson defeated Ms. Ann Shapiro in 21 holes, and we would like to congratulate her by winning and receiving this bowl. In our stone flight, Mrs. Jody Tatro defeated Linda Gober in 19 holes. Again, she will receive her version of this bowl. And in our foray flight, Mrs. Nancy Gross defeated Mrs. Hisu Kim four and three to become the flight champion, also receiving a bowl. Right. <laughs> Great work in match play this, ladies. I know that's a fun event that spans a long time and we're happy to see all the winners there. Moving on, we have our Ladies Club Championship. Uh, we recently played this and we had 33 players compete in four flights. Each flight champion will receive $70 and a pair of grape juice glasses. Uh, in our first division, we have the Stone T flight, and our champion shot a net score of 72-75, total 147. We would like to congratulate Ms. Linda Turbin. In our Gold T division, our champion shot a net score of 67-72 for a total of 139, and the award goes to Ms. Laura Ellison. In the next division, our Flight 2 champion shot a net 69-74 for a total of 143, and a congratulations goes out to Mrs. Barb Palmer. Our fourth division for Flight 3, champion with a net score of 68-71, total of 139, was Ms. Sally Gannon. Our Gross Club champion received $70 in credit, a pair of grape juice glasses, this awesome trophy in recognition of their great play, and a coveted parking spot in the, in the parking lot. Our Gross champion shot an 85-92 for a gross total of 177 over two days. She also tied with another player, therefore we had a playoff. Our bonus holes conclude, uh, consisted of Mrs. Hisu Kim and Mrs. Linda Terman. They both started on hole number one, hitting good drives down the middle, and Mrs. Kim ended up getting up and down to win the club, overall club championship. So congratulations, Mrs. Hisu Kim, our ladies club champion, gross division. So now we're moving on to our final award of the, of the year here. We have our Ladies Player of the Year. This is an award that takes a lot of dedication and commitment to play in over the year. Our Player of the Year receives $100 in credit, a really nice crystal trophy, and a parking spot out front in the, in the parking lot. So we had 17 events this year that awarded Player of the Year points. Our Player of the Year played in all 17 events. She won five of them and accumulated 391 points. So with a margin victory, which very slim, uh, she won by 49 points in the overall here. So we would really like to congratulate our player of the year for the QWGA of 2020, Mrs. Nancy Gross. Thank you ladies, I'm looking forward to a new year next year.
Welcome. Uh, I'm going to uh, recognize our men who have performed very well during the course of the season. Uh, we had a record 198 males play in our 17 events over the season. So that's a great, great number. Um, the first award I'm going to recognize is our most improved. Uh, we recognize uh, two different groups, one from the lower handicappers and one from the higher handicappers. Uh, they're each going to receive a $50 gift tribute to the golf shop. In the first division, uh, this player went from a 37.9 index down to a 31.0 index. Uh, put your hands together for Mr. Tom Shannon. In the next division, this gentleman went from a 10.2 down to a 7.7. .7. Uh, your most improved, Mr. Tim Schwecky. <laughs> next up is our match play. Um, we had 52 players compete in four flights. The matches stretched from January, February, and March. Uh, it was individual match play. I know everyone had a great time trying to schedule their match. and. Uh, Luckily, we got them all in in time. Our flight winners each received $50 and this beautiful crystal bowl. In the slate flight, um, Jim Driscoll defeated Mike Panette one up. In the bronze flight, Chris Lucas defeated Dale Pritkin three and one. In our quarry flight, Mike Van Loon defeated Bob Denton, three and one. And in the copper flight in the championship match, Bruce Perrick defeated Larry Denton, four and two. Thank you all who played in match play this year. Next up is our men's club championship. Uh, in this event, it was a two-day event. We had 44 players compete in six different flights. Each flight champion is going to receive $60 in winnings. Uh, a pair of soft beverage glasses, which you see right over here. And in our silver division, uh, Flight One, our champion, shot a net 73-76 for a 149 total, Mr. Dale Campion. In the silver tee division, Flight Number Two, our champion, shot a net 72-74 for a 146 total, Mr. Mike Fleege. In the Quarry T Division, flight number one, our champion shot a net 71-72 for a 143 total, Mr. Vic Swank. In the Quarry T Division, flight number two, our champion shot a net 73-74 for a 147 total, Dr. Ty Hartman. In the Copper T Division, flight number one, our champion with a net 7170, 141 total, Mr. Bob DeSantis. And in the Copper T Division, flight number two, the champion with a net 7972, 151 total, Mr. Ron Salvaggio. So we have a gross champion to recognize. Um, they received $60, uh, a pair of those nice soft beverage glasses. Uh, this trophy has recognition for their stellar play and a beautiful quarry parking spot uh, under a nice oak tree. Our gross champion shot a 77.74 for a 151 total over the two days of stroke play. Uh, actually, this tied him with one other player. So we needed an extra playoff to determine our winner, which started on hole number one between Guy Andrasik and Mark Amoroso. Ultimately, this finished on hole number three. Our champion scored a par to claim victory and his first club championship at the quarry. Put your hands together recognizing our 2020 men's club champion, Mr. Guy Andrasik. Great playing, everyone. The final award for the men this season is our player of the year. The player of the year receives $100, this lovely crystal trophy, and a parking spot. We had 17 
events this year that were player of the year point eligible. Our player of the year played in 16 of the 17. He won two of the events and he accumulated 388 points over the season, including 76 points in the Men's Club Championship. A lot of points there. His margin of victory for the Player of the Year was a slim 36 points. Put your hands together for our 2020 Men's Player of the Year, Mr. Vic Swank. Okay, next up is our Couples Club Championship. Uh, we had 44 teams compete uh, in the Selected Drive alternate shot format. Uh, each of our flight champions is going to receive $100 uh, combined for their victory and a lovely set of rocks glasses seen right here. Our flight one champion scored a net 67, the team of Tim and Linda Terman. Our flight two champion scored a net 65, Tom and Barb Palmer. And our flight three champion scored a net 65, Bill and Linda Weedmeyer. Our flight four champions scored a net 68, Joe and Donna Machete. And our overall net champions, uh, they had the lowest net score of all 44 teams. Uh, they're going to receive $100 in combined winnings, four glasses, and this lovely trophy. Uh, they had the lowest net score of 64. They won by one shot. Uh, put your hands together for your net 2020 club champions, Mike and Sue Fleege. Our overall gross champions receive $100 combined, four rocks glasses, a crystal trophy, and a parking spot that is frequented a lot by our local bird population. Our gross champion shot a score of 77, five over par. Uh, this actually tied them with one other team. So we had another playoff on number one uh, between Guy and Julian Dreisick and Dale and Kathy Campion. We only needed one playoff hole to determine our winner as our champions hit their approach shot to three feet on number one and then proceeded to drain the pot for the win. Put your hands together for our 2020 Couples Club Champions, Guy and Julie Andrysik. Uh, this concludes our awards for this golfing season. Um, we will have these trophies and awards for you to pick up uh, at the start of next season or whenever you feel it's appropriate. The credits have all been posted to your account. As I mentioned, those can be used next season as well. Um, again, thank you for your support and kindness this year through all of our events. Uh, we have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, most importantly, please be safe. Uh, and we look forward to starting fresh uh, next season. So thank you all.